Today we are going to discuss group 14. So P block one, which is having three part. The first two part is general properties. The second part is boron family. The third part is carbon family. Boron family belongs to group number 13. Carbon family belongs to group number 14. In group 14, we are going to discuss occurrence, physical properties, tendency for catenation, allotropies of carbon, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. So these two compound of carbon and then silicon tetrachloride, silicones, silicates. So these three are, okay, compound of silicon. First occurrence. So occurrence means you have to discuss minerals and ores. So elements exist as a pure state or combined state. Okay, in minerals along with earthy impurities. Okay, so if the elements are enriched in that mineral, then the substance is called as ore. Okay, right. So carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead. So these are the, the member of carbon family. Okay, group 14. So carbon, you know that exists in uh, biological system and uh, exists in okay coal and exists in graphite, diamond. Okay, so most of the compound contain carbon. For example, okay carbonate form. So minerals with the carbonate form which contain carbon. So this is the image of coal. Okay, the second element silicon. So sand. So sand is nothing but silicon dioxide. So, so silicon can exist as quartz. Okay, the pure form of silicon. Okay. Then third one is germanium. So germanium present in you can say that fallerite ore. That is ore of zinc. Okay. So this fallerite ore, which contains the treasure amount of germanium, treasure amount of germanium. So this is the image of Okay, germanium ore, that is uh, ore of zinc. Okay, the next one is tin, uh, the ore is castorite. So, this one is the image of castorite which contains tin. Okay, then lead galena. Okay, so this one is the image of okay, galena. Okay, so carbon, coal, silicon, sand, germanium, specialite, and tin, castorite, and lead galena. Okay. The next one is carbon. So this is the image of pure carbon. This is the image of pure carbon. Okay. So carbon atomic number six at the electronic configuration helium 2s to 2p2. Okay. So four electron in the outermost cell, valence cell. Okay. So 14th group contain four electron in the outermost cell. So the valency of 14th group element is four. And atomic weight 12. So carbon, the isotope of carbon, carbon 12, carbon 13, carbon 14. Okay. So in that carbon 12, the relative abundance of carbon 12 is around 99.9 percentage. .9%. Okay. Only the rest of the isotopes as a tracer amount. Okay. So the only element with a uh, relative abundance is very high is a carbon. So carbon used as a okay. A standard element in the calculation of atomic weight okay atomic mass unit which I refer from carbon 12 isotope the reason is the relative abundance uh, abundance of carbon 12 is 99.98 percentage okay then the acid base property of the okay higher valence oxides okay this one is weakly acidic oxides so carbon monoxide carbon dioxide Okay, these oxides are weakly acidic in nature. So when it dissolves in water, which gives acidic solution. So carbon dioxide dissolves in water, which gives carbonic acid. Okay, H2, okay, CO3. Okay, then crystal structure, this one is hexagonal pattern of arrangement in carbon. So this crystals having atom of element, 
in the hexagonal pattern. Okay, right. The second one is silicon. Okay, so silica, we uh, are having silica, sand. Okay, so but the, but the color of sand is entirely different from the color of pure silicon. So pure silicon is a blacky substance. Okay, so you can see this one is pure silicon. Okay, but the silica is nothing but the oxides of silicon. Okay, so silicon atomic number 14, electronic configuration neon 3s to 3p2. Okay, atomic weight 28 and acidic oxide. Okay, this one is okay, acid and basic are equivalent strength. So it is a amphotric oxide. Silicon dioxide gives amphotric oxide. Okay, because the acid base strengths are equivalent. Okay, crystal structure, this one is diamond crystal structure. Okay, so this one is non metal carbon and silicon non metal in the 14th group. Carbon and silicon are non metal in the 14th group. The next one is germanium. So you can see the lustrous nature is very high when compared with the carbon and the silicon because from germanium the metallic nature starts. Okay, so atomic number 32, argon 3d10, 4s2, 4p2. Okay, this one is metal in nature and atomic weight 72.6 and uh, oxides equivalent relative strength that means amphotric oxide germanium oxide is a amphotric oxide and a crystal structure that also diamond structure then tin okay tin also metal tin also metal okay atomic number 50 atomic weight 118.7 okay then oxide nature okay amphotric that is equivalent relative strength acid base nature only equivalent so it is amphotic nature, crystal structure, it's a rectangular structure, it's a tetragonal structure. Okay, right. The next one is lead. Okay, so lead also metal and atomic number 82 and atomic weight 207.2. The acid base, you can see here the equal relative strength, that means amphotic nature. Okay, crystal structure, face centered cubic structure. Okay, so electronic configuration, xenon. 4F14, 5D10, 6662, and 6P2. Okay, right. So here you can see the tabular column the comparing the physical properties of carbon family carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead. Okay, so here uh, from carbon to lead. Okay, so carbon, the oxidation state is plus 4. Okay, the higher oxidation state is more stable. But here, lead, the higher oxidation state is less stable, but the lower oxidation state, okay. So lead can exist as plus two, as well as plus four oxidation state. Plus, plus two oxidation state is more stable due to inert pair effect, okay. From top to bottom, the inert pair effect increases. So lead, the lower oxidation state is more stable. In carbon, the higher oxidation state is more stable. The next one is the catenation property of carbon family. Okay, so catenation property means the ability of element to form chain of atom. That means self-linking. You can see the picture, branched chain, linear chain, cyclic chain. Okay, so this one is, okay, the self-linking property is called catenation. Okay, so the condition for catenation. Okay, so they may ask in two more questions, right? Condition for catenation, you have to write these four points, okay? First one is the valency of element is greater than or equal to two. Okay. The second one is the element should have ability to bond with itself. Okay. The strength of the bond is okay similar to okay the bond with the other elements. That is the self bond must be as strong as its bond with the other element. Okay. Then the kinetic inertness of catenated compound towards other molecules. That is the thermal feasibility of the compound. Okay, so these are the uh, condition for catenation property. Okay, so the carbon possess all the properties. So carbon can easily form catenation. Okay, so form wide range of compound with itself and other elements. Okay, so write short notes on. Catenation means you have to write all the points. Uh, write condition for catenation means you have to write only four points. The next one is allotropies of carbon. So allotropies means 
the different form of same element in same physical properties that is physical state okay so the allotropic form of carbon okay graphite diamond fullerene and graphene okay so which one is different structure is different which one is same okay the physical state is same so same physical state but a different okay structure such uh, property are called as allotropes. The substance is called allotropes. The phenomenon is called allotropism. Okay, right. So you can see the flow chart carbon crystalline form, amorphous form. In that crystalline form, okay, diamond, graphite, fluorine, C and C. So C and T means, okay, carbon nanotubes. So this one is the structure of carbon nanotubes. Okay, so the all are crystalline nature. And amorphous coke, carbon black, and charcoal. What is the difference between crystalline and amorphous? In a crystalline form, the arrangement is long range order. Okay, in amorphous, the structure is short range order. That is the main difference between crystal and amorphous. Okay, so carbon can exist as crystal and amorphous. In that crystal, diamond graphite so fullerene and carbon nanotubes so which comes in the crystalline okay so coke carbon black charcoal so these are comes under amorphous the next one is graphite so graphite is the most stable allotropic form of carbon at normal temperature and pressure. So diamond is hard, but it is not thermally stable when compared to graphite. Okay, so graphite is the, the most stable allotropic form of carbon. Okay, so graphite is a soft and conduct electricity. Okay, so graphite which is having flat two-dimensional sheet-like structure. So this one is flat two-dimensional sheet-like structure. Okay, so each sheet is having okay hexagonal network structure with the sp2 hybridization carbon. Okay, so each hexagonal structure linked together form sheet-like structure. So this is each carbon present in the sheet-like structure is sp2 hybridized. So sp2 hybridization means what? one s orbital and two p orbital involved in the hybridization okay so the bond length between carbon carbon is of 1.41 armstrong which is similar to the bond length in benzene structure so the reason is okay so carbon valency four out of four three hybridized orbital in the bond formation okay sigma bond formation out of four three bond involved in the okay uh, sigma bond formation the rest of one unhybridized p orbital involved in the pi bond formation okay the carbon valency 4 okay which is having sp2 hybridization so out of four three hybridized orbital involved in the sigma bond formation one unhybridized p orbital of carbon involved in the bond form pi bond formation which is delocalized in nature in the seat. Okay, this delocalized pi electron responsible for the electrical conductivity of graphite. So you can say that graphite is used as anode in the okay metallurgical process. The reason is okay the graphite contain okay free electron that is delocalized electron. Okay, and then the sheet successive sheet held together by weak van der Waals force okay the slippy nature of okay graphite is due to the presence of van der Waals force okay right then the uh, distance between the successive sheet is 3.40 and strong okay then it is used as lubricant either on its own or as a graphite oil the second allotropic form of carbon is diamond Okay, so unlike graphite, this one is hard material. Diamond is hard material. The reason is network structure. The reason is network structure. So carbon involved in the network structure, which leads to 
the hardness of substance okay so what hybridization in diamond sp3 hybridization in diamond okay so one carbon surrounded by four carbon here one carbon surrounded by three carbon one carbon surrounded by three carbon okay seat like structure hexagonal structure but here carbon each carbon surrounded by four carbon okay the reason is sp3 hybridization so all the carbon connected through sigma bond only so there is no pi electron or pi bond so there is no availability of free electron in diamond so diamond is a insulating material which do not conduct current the reason is the non availability of free electron or we can say that delocalized electron the important reason is it undergoes uh, sp3 hybridization so this one is tetrahedral structure uh, there is no free electron okay so uses of diamond the sharpening hard tools cutting glasses making bows rock drills okay so the hardness due to mainly okay the interlinking structure of diamond the next one is fullerene so fullerene is a newly synthesized allotropy okay so diamond and graphite are natural allotropic form of okay carbon but a fullerene is a synthetic allotropic form of carbon so this is the appearance of fullerene this is the appearance of fullerene okay so this fullerene contain okay 32 carbon 50 carbon 60 carbon and so on okay so this fullerene is a okay cage like structure the fullerene is a cage like structure and the c60 molecule have social ball like structure so it is called as bucky ball because this structure okay uh, coined by buckminster the scientist name is buckminster so the name of the compound is bucky ball name of the compound is bucky ball okay so this one having fused ring like structure which is consists of 26 member ring and 12 five member ring okay so what hybridization sp2 hybridization okay so three sigma bond and one pi bond in fullerene structure and the carbon carbon distance is bond length is 1.44 carbon double bond carbon distance is 1.38 angstrom the next one is carbon nanotube okay so now the carbon nanotube also okay synthetic allotropy form of carbon okay look like a graphite but in the uh, tube form in the tube form end with fluorine end okay so in the graphite this one is sheet like structure in the graph hexagonal arrangement in the sheet like structure but in okay a carbon nanotube okay the same arrangement hexagonal arrangement which form tube like structure tube like structure at the end the fullerene like structure fullerene like means okay uh, we can say that okay saucer like structure saucer ball like structure okay right so along the axis this nanotube are stronger than steel so you can see the appearance of fiber like nanotubes fiber like nanotubes so this is the nanotube material this is the nanotube material and this one is fiber form this one is sheet like structure and this one is fiber like structure so both contain the internal arrangement is the tube like hexagonal structure okay right so uses uh, this also good conductor of electricity because which contain free electron okay so three sigma bond or one pi electron so electronics catalyst polymer medicine okay the last one is graphene so graphene the another allotropy form of carbon is graphene okay it has a single planar sheet of sp2 hybridized the carbon atom that are densely packed in a honeycomb okay crystal lattice okay so this one is single sheet okay so in graphite the sheet is not long one but uh, in a uh, graphene the length of the okay sheet like structure is very long okay so it form honeycomb crystal lattice that is densely packed honeycomb crystal lattice okay so this uh, uh, compound is called graphene the allotropic form is called graphene so this jacket okay coated with the graphene material 
Okay, this one coated with the graphene material. Okay, so today we discussed okay the allotropic form of carbon. Allotropic form of carbon. So you can compare the okay the structure. You can compare the structure. Okay, allotropis hybridization shape uses image. Graphite sp2 hybridization hexagonal arrangement lubricant. Okay, image. Okay. So diamond sp3 hybridization tetragonal structure the sharpening hard tools so this one is the tetragonal interlinking structure interlinking structure okay then fluorine sp2 hybridization cage like structure cage like structure mean closed structure so tube like structure or open structure but this one is closed structure okay cage like structure okay antiviral agent antiviral agent flurry uses on the antiviral agent the nanotube this is also sp2 so except diamond all allotropic form having okay sp2 hybridization so all the okay uh, allotropic form except diamond hexagonal arrangement the only the diamond having tetragonal arrangement okay so nanotube sp2 hybridization graphite like tube okay so electronics used in electronics so this one is tube like structure okay this one is okay cage like structure here also you can see the hexagonal arrangement here also you can see the hexagonal arrangement here also you can see the hexagonal arrangement of carbon okay so one two three four so out of four allotropies okay out of five the four allotropies having hexagonal arrangement so graphene sp2 the single planar seed honeycomb structure, the anti corrosion coating. It is used as anti corrosion coating, also used in medicine. So, this one is the comparative studies of okay, allotropic form of carbon. So, the third part of P block one is okay, carbon family or group 14. So today we finish occurrence, physical properties, tendency for catenation, allotropies of carbon. Okay. So first one is occurrence. We discussed the woes of elements present in the 14th group and their images. And then, okay, properties of each element, carbon, silicon, germanium, Tin, lead. This one is comparative studies. Then catenation properties, that is self-linking property. Then condition for catenation properties. Then allotropies. Okay, so allotropies are different form of same element in the same physical state. Which one is different? The structural arrangement is different. Which one is same? The element is same. All contain carbon only. All contain carbon only. So you can see from diamond to charcoal, all contain carbon only. So which one is different? The arrangement is different. So this one is long range order, this one is short range order. Diamond, graphite, fluorine, carbon nanotubes. Coke, carbon black, charcoal. This one is graphite. So we, are, we can compare the structure, graphite and diamond. So most stable form of graphite due to the delocalized electron, delocalized electron. But in diamond, there is no delocalized electron. All the four carbon are, okay, sigma bond. But in graphite, only three bond is sigma bond. The rest of one bond is pi bond. The pi bond responsible for the stability of graphite. So cage-like structure. So carbon-60 is called buckyball. So tube-like structure. This one is cage-like structure, fullerene. Tube-like structure, this one is carbon nanotube. So both are made up of the same carbon. So which one is different? The arrangement is different. This one is seat-like structure.
So this one is comparative studies. Okay, so we finished today. Carbon family in that occurrence, physical properties, chemical properties, that is catenation properties. Okay, and then allotropies of carbon. Thank you, students. I hope you understand the concept. Keep learning. Stay reactive.